Hi guys, I'm Watch Jerry and I'm here with Flame from Firm 400. Check out his channel and check out his Miata build. I mean, it's, we've been talking about Miata things because they're awesome. Yeah. So what's up guys back on the Miata vlog. What's up guys? Happy Mother's Day. So it is Sunday and uh, we wanted to check out the Miata and it's uh, been a while since we've worked on the car. I know we've updated you a little bit on a little bit of what's going on uh, with the Miata but after spending some time watching some videos on YouTube from other Miata owners I think we kind of figured out several issues that's going on with the car and go figure you know we're probably going to be changing pretty much anything that is a common issue on the Miata so I just wanted to point out a few things that we were doing research on and figured out that on the valve cover gasket obviously we are going to change the valve cover gasket on the Miata a lot of oil has been leaking on the valve cover so obviously we're going to change the gasket and right here as you can see this bad boy right here the cast the crank angle sensor the o-ring i believe that o-ring is bad so we're going to change that too and i know we're going to have to remove some bolts uh, to get that o-ring out and replace it and we're also going to have to make sure that um, we leave the position of the cast the way it it was originally so that we wouldn't have to deal with any um, resetting issues for the uh, timing I guess from watching all the videos so that's gonna be a main priority down here actually over here where right there I noticed we had like a leak from the coolant hoses so I looked up on some videos and it looks like maybe the o-ring that's right under this heat shield there's like a hose i think it's right here um the heater ho the heater hose return o-ring i believe that's what it's called i'm gonna have to change that so it's like in this area i have to look for it i'm gonna have to remove the heat shield and then um also the fans don't work back to that yeah so we did a um we did a test with the ground right here from the um, what is it called the uh, diagnosis port right that's what you call it yeah the diagnosis port so we did a test where we put the pin on the ground to the TF I believe it's the TFA so we did the test and the relay was clicking so there's current going through that it still works however the fan doesn't work so right here I just disconnected it I think I did no yeah I did yeah yeah I disconnected it because I wanted to do like a direct test a direct 12 volt test to see if the fans work um, otherwise if they don't work I'm gonna have to change the fans also I was checking the relays and fuses but also back here the um, I believe it's the temperature sensor I think that went bad too like it's back here right behind the uh, coil pack and the cast. I think the temperature, the temperature sensor might be bad as well because, um, I don't know, I believe it is. I mean, this is an old car, so I'm just gonna change it because I was watching, I believe it was, it was, I believe it was, I believe it was Miata Man on YouTube. He did a video where he changed the temperature sensor. So I just think, that's gonna be that's going to have to be replaced as well but other than that I mean the car does start it's just the overheating issues and the leak I'm getting from the coolant holes right here change the hoses again I'm probably gonna change the clamps I'm gonna take this bad boy out replace it get the new gasket in there 
and I also checked all the fuses like I said and they all work everything else I mean is okay I guess but I, also, I just wanted to vlog about this guys show you guys what's going on with uh, the Miata um, I've been really anxious and been wanting to work on the car it's just been so busy thankfully during this crazy time with the quarantine but yeah I mean uh car's still good I had a chance to just uh, sit in there and uh, check on the battery battery is still good just needs a little charge so I'm gonna show you guys the test I did that um, as far as checking the uh, fan from the diagnosis port so I hooked up the ground which is from here so I hooked up the ground from here to the TFA which is right it's the dirt one but yeah. no, it's not working I think the battery's dead I think the battery might be dead and check the headlights see what works Might have taken out the fuse to check. Oh, you know why? Check it out. Okay, we gotta connect it, guys. That's why I didn't click. I'm curious, that's wrong. So, so. So here's what I did guys, so I put the ground, which is right here, to the TFA, which is for the fan. Shoot. Take this right. Here the fuse is out. Hold on. Took the fuse out. Let's check. Mm. I have to check. I'm not hearing any more clicks. Let's try again. Ground is right there. Maybe I need to have the key in the ignition. Okay, let's try it again. So, ground, as you can see, and TFA. There you go. So you hear the really click. Yeah, I just have to do a direct connection. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna be testing the fans. So what I did was I got some speaker wire and I hooked up the blue wire to the blue wire that's connected on this um, um, connector plug. So blue wire to blue wire on a connector plug and the gray wire to the black wire. So I have the battery here that I took from the rear of the trunk from the car and I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna see if I, if I do this direct test, this 12 volt test, the fans will work. So let's give it a shot. So I'm getting nothing, try the other way. Maybe that one. Let me check. 
Okay guys, so I just reconnected the wiring again. The one I had right here, I think it was a little bit too weak. So this one's a little bit more thicker. So I hooked it up to the right side fans on this connector plug. And they actually turn on, check this out. Yeah, this is not good, you can't hold it at the same time. You hear that? Let's do it again. performing the direct 12 volt test the right side fans work um, the left side I don't know if that's for the cooling fan or the right side is I have to make I have to double check but the right side I mean it's connected to the AC's it's on the side where the AC's at so maybe this is the AC fan so quite possibly the radiator fan is done with but I'm gonna double check you see but as you can see right here the right side fan that's on the radiator works hooking up the wires directly onto the battery so, so this is just like a demonstration for you Miata owners out there who are having problems with the fan this could quite possibly be a way a more direct way to double check if your fans work I'm gonna double check the left side of the fan and see if this works. So as far as the right side fan on the radio, it works. So I now hooked up the wiring to the left side fan that's on the radio. So we're gonna see if this one works. Getting nothing, guys. Double check. Yeah, the fan isn't going on at all. So I'm assuming that the fan on the left side is bad, which I believe it's part. This is the main fan for the cooling system. I have to change it. I mean, I'm gonna reverse the wiring and check, but I think it's bad. All right, guys, so actually I also tested the driver's side fan. Right there, the connector plug, I hooked it up. It didn't turn on at all. So I double checked again on the right side, the passenger side fan right here. It still turns on, it works. And from doing some research, I believe this fan here is the AC fan, and the driver's side fan is for the engine cooling temperature. However, um, a lot of Miata guys also said that the fan on the passenger side serves as a backup um, backup fan, just in case if it overheats and the driver's side one goes bad. But regardless, I'm gonna have to change the fan. You might as well just maybe upgrade to even a better radiator um, looks like I'm gonna change more new stuff to the Miata but at least uh, we're learning along the way so but yeah guys so we did the direct 12 volt test on the radiator fans and only the passenger side works which serves to operate for the AC it's good to know it still works but if the driver side fan doesn't work then I'm gonna get overheating issues which I did deal with and I'm going to have to change it so I'm going to get some new fans real soon guys and uh, stay tuned for another vlog but I was planning on uh, removing the valve cover and start going more into the engine because I think I'm also going to have to change the water pump and the timing belt that's inside I have to check that but I'm probably going to just change it as well 
so still a lot more things to do guys I'll turn this off um, I'm gonna also probably upgrade the spark plug wires I changed spark plugs already but maybe upgrade as well and cast o-ring a lot of oil was leaking right here where the firewall is at so obviously it's gonna be the cast o-ring from what I've uh, from doing research on YouTube so that's a common issue, so I'm gonna have to change that. Change the valve cover gasket. Um, maybe the um, heater hose O-ring, heater hose return O-ring. So yeah guys, so I'm just gonna swap out new radiator, new fans, and all the other things that I talked about. So stay tuned in, in another vlog. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube at Firm 400, and we'll be bringing you more, more content <laughs> on our Miata vlog. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Firm 400, you already know this. Firm 400. 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 Let's go. Firm 400. Firm 400. Firm 400. Firm 400. Firm 400. Y'all already know.